the bride to be's sophisticated dress was the work of designer Jason Wu, and it comes with a hefty price tag. The annual event was the first time Harry and Meghan joined Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge for an official engagement. William, Kate, Harry and former Suits star Meghan appeared on stage together to discuss why the Royal Foundation was set up, the projects they are currently working on, and their ambitions for the years ahead. Meghan's navy satin wrap is available from Nat A. Porter and costs £1,415. The sleeveless, blazer style frock features concealed button fastenings through the front and a buckle fasten belt, but will be out of budget for the average woman. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cambridge went for a far more budget friendly option. Kate opted for a royal blue tailored maternity dress, a relative snip at just £99. And it isn't the first time this month that the Duchess has worn the pretty blue seraphine frock. She also wore it at a previous Heads Together event, and it is still sold out online. So do you prefer Meghan's designer statement piece or Kate's trusty favorite? It was previously revealed that the royal family have to abide by a very strict dress code. Numerous age-old etiquette rules govern what the royals must wear when performing their public duties. Protocol dictates that colorful nail varnish is a no-go, only first-time brides and married women can wear tiaras, cleavage isn't allowed, and neither are bare legs. So, while Meghan may be wearing the high-end dress this time, until she's married, only Kate out of the pair will be allowed wear any crown jewels. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle has already picked her wedding dress designer, according to Royal Insiders. Israeli fashion designer Inbal Drawer was also thought to be a possible candidate after leaked wedding dress sketches supposedly ordered by Buckingham Palace swept the web. While the son of Princess Diana's colorist, Daniel Galvin Jr., has submitted three potential designs for Meghan's wedding hair, 